Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. It's a Friday afternoon, cold and wet Friday afternoon here in South Africa. It is still winter of course. I am sorry that I wasn't around yesterday. I was busy in a committee meeting that went on and on as sometimes committee meetings do. Um, let's show you the tarot deck we have on the tarot table today. It's the Lunar Soul Tarot which is my woke tarot and we are dealing with a rather um, woke, I suppose, subject, uh, seeing as nothing is um, cast in stone anymore in this world, genders aren't, you know, your, your gender is what you feel it is, so if you feel you're female, or you actually have male bits, um, you, you are female, and uh, all of that, so we are dealing with that kind of topic today, but the topic is in fact Megan's feelings and her feelings of growing up as an only child, which she proclaimed on Oprah, that infamous Oprah interview. Samantha Markle has now taken her to court, suing her for defamation. And Megan's defense, according to her lawyers, is that uh, her statement on Oprah and also in that silly book, Finding Freebies, was meant to be a subjective statement of feelings, not objective truth. And uh, Dominic Sambrook wrote a blistering opinion piece in the mail about the triumph of feelings over fact and the kind of world that we are living in, where if you feel that um, there uh, are only, I don't know, 900 millimeters in a meter, then that's fine. That's what you feel. And you can build a house like that on your faulty measurements and the house will fall down if you feel that Mars is much closer to Earth than it really is and you launch a spaceship for Mars and it doesn't quite get there. Oh well, maybe you feel that it got there. So we're, we're in this weird world where science is, is really um, no more and it is now just your feelings, your sentiments, your emotions and Megan is uh, seemingly a leader in, in this world, uh, a great exponent of the art of my feelings. Uh, Catherine made me cry. Uh, a fine example of that. And uh, so we're going to be reading on her perceptions. Uh, feelings, nothing more than feelings. Her perception growing up, did she really feel uh, no connection with her half-siblings, Samantha and Thomas Jr.? Um, what is her perception, her, her connection with reality, objective reality, truth? or truthiness, as George Bush so memorably called it. I think it was George Bush talked about truthiness. Uh, what impact this is having on Prince Harry? I need to shuffle some more. Because, of course, he's writing his memoir, and I suspect it might be more of the same. His feelings, as he was in the royal family, may not necessarily be um, objectively verifiable truth. Facts may all just be feelings. So what influence she's having on Prince Harry? And uh, the outcome of this court case, I've done readings on this court case before and it looks like she's going to get away with it or she's going to feel that she's got away with it. I've got lots of nine of cups and I think that's the ultimate feeling that you have got away with something. And interestingly today, as I'm doing this reading, the news has broken in the UK. The uh, Wagatha Christie case, um, certainly UK viewers will know what I'm talking about, that um, Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy case where um, the two were having a little squabble on Instagram, someone stealing stories and selling them and uh, the, the verdict has come out, uh, judge very clear, he only believed one side of the story but the the loser in this battle Rebecca Vardy has come out saying she feels that the judge is unfair and she's going to appeal so she is not going to um, accept objective reality apparently allegedly and let's point you because we are talking about court cases here to court cases in fact, let's point you to the disclaimer and remind you that this is a tarot reading or just my opinion or for entertainment purposes and check your own feelings. And uh, perhaps this should be my disclaimer from now on. This is a subjective statement of feelings, not objective reality. How about that for a new disclaimer? And we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here as uh, the Knight of Discs. 
as the um, underlying energy of this card. That's the slow moving night, the patient, the uh, steady progress forward night, the Prince Harry card also, but it's in reverse. Uh, slow progress becomes no progress. Uh, somebody who in the upright is steady, stable, reliable is unreliable. She's an unreliable narrator. She's an unreliable witness. She is an unreliable um, source of information about her own life. And let's uh, remind you that this is my own truthiness here. I'm just a statement of my own feelings. And uh, so let's see, heart of the matter, Megan and the Oprah interview and truth, the Nine of Wands, uh, feeling rather defensive right now. The Nine of Wands is when you're barricaded, you've got your boundaries up, you've got your guard up. Um, you've rather rather battle uh, weary here. You can see the person's bruised and battered. They're clutching that wand like a club and they're ready to thump anyone who comes near them. Um, she is feeling bruised and battered at the moment. She's not enjoying life at the moment. It must be quite funny to be in Montecito if they even are there. And uh, see how the bad news drip, drip, drip. Um, and this latest thing, uh, that Dominique uh, Sandbrook um, article is absolutely scathing and it's certainly been passed around social media, everyone's read it. Um, battered and bruised, making your last stand, very tired, um, feeling a bit defeated, feeling like you have to distance yourself from people and uh, that's what those boundaries are about. So um, she's not enjoying life at the moment, just really generally uh, things are tough for her at the moment and no surprise uh, we don't need tarot cards to tell us that we need well the evidence of our own eyes but uh, maybe evidence of our own eyes is no longer valid who knows let's see how she felt growing up in the Markle household we know she was very present in Thomas Markle's house while Samantha and Thomas Jr were there but apparently she was an only child let's see how she felt did she feel any connection with her siblings what was going on we get the five of pentacles in reverse outcast it's, uh, it's quite a sad card, actually, um, the Five of Pentacles. It's not very clear from this depiction uh, or what the card is really about. The card is really about being exiled, about being cast out. It's a very lonely card. Uh, cast out of the warmth and security of your own home, of the place where you feel safe. Um, we know that Doria wasn't around for much of Megan's childhood, eh, hardly any of it, for mysterious reasons that allegedly cannot be revealed by Tom Bauer let's park that there and move on um, uh, so I feel that my feelings remember <laughs> uh, I feel that she really felt um, vulnerable she didn't feel comfortable in that household for all the presents and the treasures and flower and petal and bean and everything else and daddy bending over backwards to give her everything she wanted and um, everybody fawning over her, she felt like she didn't belong. And uh, that's quite an interesting sentiment to come through. The card is in reverse so it's extra extra for me, um, feeling of not belonging of feeling even though uh, Thomas Markle was going through an affluent time when she was around when she was growing up compared with how the others were treated the others were really um, they went through tough times financially and emotionally um, they had ha harsh upbringings Samantha and Thomas Jr according to Tom Bauer I'm um, just repeating what Tom Bauer says but Megan felt that she was the one who suffered she was the one who was uh, who had a hard time she was the one who didn't belong and that really is quite strange she definitely had some sense of isolation and disconnect so from her subjective point of view she's saying uh, uh, she really is exp articulating her own truth um, that, that her feelings really overrode what was actually going on in her household why ever who knows i'm not a psychologist i cannot possibly begin to explain how this came to be but that is her feeling truly is her feeling so even though it's a lie from our standpoint from her point of view truth truthiness let's see what her connection is her relationship is with truth uh, as far as tarot can tell us and uh sun card has come out 
and uh, the sun card is about your power about being in your light in the limelight ab about energy about bliss happiness joy I wouldn't say it's a, it, the sun does shed light on things so when you're in a murky situation and you get the sun card in a reading it means that light will be shone on something but we're talking about her relationship with the truth and I think it is that she is the center of the universe and she can radiate whatever light out and color situations with her own power her own radiant energy um and and basically be the light herself so whatever i see her as as being the sun in this reading and that that is good enough if she shines and says this is so then it is so it's a very powerful card it's major arcana the sun and a center of the um sense center of our solar system her truth her version of events is the center of things has to be believed and um will kind of scorch anything else that's in its way i don't get a good vibe from this card this is of course my feeling my truthiness um so uh you have to uh take it as it really is my opinion when i say now it's my opinion this is how I feel. I'm reading energy, of course. The sun is the ultimate source of energy in our universe. So her truth is her is the ultimate source of truth as far as she is concerned. Of course, if this was the outcome card, I would say at some stage we're going to get a tremendous amount of clarity about a situation that might be a bit murky, but that's not the outcome card. This is Megan and her relationship with reality and with the truth she is the center of the universe she is the radiant being the all-powerful being the source of all things in her mind uh, let's see what influence this version of events is having on prince harry has she convinced him of the same that truth is truthiness and we get the empress in reverse and that's pretty negative it's a pretty negative um it's quite a funny card actually to see because it tells me oprah interview um very much she was in that dress the bird poo dress of course um sitting there smugly she was very pregnant visibly pregnant allegedly uh but she was in the reverse so uh, a lot of things that this card is telling me first of all the pregnancy uh might not be uh might be more a statement of feelings than fact ho ho um uh, all the statements of feelings on that oprah view are in reverse here so um a lot of untruth uh if there is such a thing as truth and i'm not a philosopher either um empress in reverse she certainly has eroded his version of events and primarily through this falsification allegedly as all speculation nobody can prove it neil sean pretty much came out and said in one of his little youtube pieces uh yesterday that tom bauer knows all kinds of things but cannot prove them all kinds of internet rumors um tumblr rumors twitter rumors instagram rumors wherever else uh chat rooms forums uh all have these rumors tom bauer knows them tom bauer thinks they're true but cannot prove them so cannot print them in a book and the primary one is about empress in reverse because empress is mother empress is mother so the fact that that was all fabricated according to speculation and i am repeating speculation and rumor has undermined harry's version of uh, uh, grip of reality and what is real and what is true and what you can get away with and what you can't get away with it has influenced him he's gone along with it very clearly very clearly and so far everybody has gone along with it because nobody can actually disprove it in a court of law and of course there are privacy issues around children and so on and so now i would say harry's um, version of truth is pretty much colored by her version of truth and it couldn't be clearer from this card this card which has come out in the reverse thank you universe for that an outcome court case um 
how is this going to go? How is this going to play in a court of law? Because that's, of course, what we're talking about. We're talking about a defamation case here. How's it going to go? That this, this idea, this defense, um, that it was just a purely subjective statement of feelings. Is the court going to think, we sort of fine idea, we like that. And uh, you're going to get away with it. You get out of jail card, no. Ten of discs, is the ten of pentacles, has come out in reverse. There is the sun, very interestingly. I love this reading. I love the way the cards are coming out and telling their own truth. There is the sun, there is her truth. But in reverse. And uh, Ten of Pentacles is a big loss. A big loss. Big loss of money. Could be. Could cost her some of this. And uh, even though Samantha, Samantha's claim is pretty minuscule, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a claim, a minimum um, claim to get into a certain jurisdiction. As I understand it, I'm by no means an expert in American law and uh, court system and structure and hierarchy and all the rest of it. But as I understand it, she has claimed a certain amount to get herself into, uh, I think it's a federal court. Uh, I could be hideously wrong and I do apologise if I am uh, uh, to those of you who know much more about this than I do but the ten of pentacles in reverse is a loss a financial loss um, a loss of financial security a loss of status a loss of prestige a loss of influence a loss of connection with this ha this house on the hill the big house not the big house in terms of prison <laughs> big house in terms of your castle your uh, your family home where you belong um, it's going to cost her it is going to cost her and so those readings that i've done where i get the nine of cups and uh, megan feels like she's got away with things i don't think the judge is going to let this fly i don't think the judge is going to buy this idea that oh you can just say any old rot you want to and defame anyone because oh well that's how i felt about it mm, not really and uh, so very interesting to see how this plays out in court. Interesting that this card, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Discs in reverse, is actually sitting under the Five of Pentacles in reverse. That was her perception of her childhood growing up in that house. She felt deprived. She felt disconnected. She felt alone. She felt isolated. And now we've got double, double, uh, double trouble. We've gone from Five in reverse to Ten in reverse. And uh, it's escalating the sense of disconnect and the sense of loss and the sense of poverty. And it may actually escalate into her bank account and cost her some money, actual money. And then uh, her statement uh, of feelings about her wealth and about her status uh, may uh, not, uh, not fly at all when she goes to the bank and she has a look at her bank balance and uh, there's not so much that you can claim that's truthiness about your bank balance. Your bank balance is what your bank balance is, however much you might wish it was something else. That's your reading. Thanks for watching. I'm going to hop on to the next one now and hope to see you over there.